हेलो एवरीवन कैसे हो आप सर सो आई निकुंज वाला वेलकम यू वन मोर टाइम एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द चैप्टर मोशन एंटायर चैप्टर विद इन दिस नेक्स्ट फोर्टी और फोर्टी फाइव मिनट्स राइट एंड ही आर वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट ऑल द थियरीज टूगेदर एंड इन अ वेरी क्विक वे राइट एंड दिस विल बी वेरी हेल्पफुल फॉर यू टू प्रिपेयर द चैप्टर फॉर योर एग्जाम्स ओके सो लेट्स बिगिन द चैप्टर चलिए तो स्टार्ट करते हैं बच्चों मोशन चैप्टर का सबसे पहला जो कंसेप्ट है ना दैट कंसेप्ट इज व्हाट इज मोशन राइट तो वी कैन से व्हेन द पोजीशन ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट चेंजेस विद रिस्पेक्ट टू सम अदर पोजीशन और विद रिस्पेक्ट टू सम ऑब्जर्वर अगर ऑब्जर्वर के रेफरेंस में किसी ऑब्जेक्ट का पोजीशन चेंज हो रहा है तो हम कहेंगे कि ऑब्जेक्ट कैसा है बच्चों मोशन में है कैसा है आपका ऑब्जेक्ट द ऑब्जेक्ट इज इन मोशन सो वी कैन से व्हेन पोजीशन ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट चेंजेस विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू ऑब्जर्वर The object is said to be in motion. The object is said to be in motion. Right? That's the first thing. Now, with the motion, two things are associated. The first is the displacement, and the second is the path length. Let's write that two terms. I will write this in form of difference: path length. And here I will write. displacement path length and displacement what is the path length path length is the total distance covered by the object during the journey okay total distance covered by the object during the journey is called as path length the path length is total distance traveled by object right during the journey and this total distance travel is called as path length okay and on the other hand what is displacement to so displacement is straight line distance between the initial and final position displacement kya hota hai bachcho straight line distance between initial and final position of object okay let's try to understand then with this very simple example consider the object is starting the motion from this point just for an example the object is starting the motion from this point right so it is the initial position let's consider object is first moving like this for 30 meter okay and then it takes turn and it moves like this for 40 meter and it is the final position of object object yahan se chalu kiya pehle yahan pe aaya fir turn mar ke it is at final position right so what is the path length for this case or what is the distance travel to so path length mein kya karenge the path length is total distance travel by the object the total distance is what 30 plus 40 to so total distance for this example is the path length is 30 meter Plus 40 meter. The path length here is 70 meter. Path length here is 70 meter. While in this case, what is the displacement? The displacement is straight line distance between initial and final position. So it is your final position. It is your initial position. You have to join initial and final position by straight line. What will we do? We will join initial position and final position of the object by straight line. and this straight line distance is called as what displacement so by pythagoras theorem the displacement is going to be 50 meter you just remember it right now okay so here your displacement for this example is what 50 meter what is the displacement for this example 50 meter right chale one more thing your path length can never be zero or negative path length can never be zero or negative path length kabhi zero ya negative nahi ho sakta hai राइट वो ऑलवेज और ऑलवेज पॉजिटिव ही होगा सो वी कैन राइट यर पाथ लेंथ कैन नेवर बी जीरो और नेगेटिव राइट 
while this displacement can be zero and negative also displacement it can be zero or negative also okay chalo one more point path length has no direction path length has no direction okay while the displacement has direction so displacement is vector quantity displacement has direction the displacement is vector quantity while the path length is scalar quantity right so i will write this point here this is scalar quantity scalar means no direction while this is displacement is vector quantity because it has direction also so when you talk about the displacement when you talk about the displacement you have to specify the direction that in what direction the object is displacing because it is a vector quantity right now in what case path length and displacement will be same in what case path length and displacement will be same so if the object is moving only in one direction if the object is moving only in one direction consider object is starting from here and it is only moving in straight direction and reaching to the point b let's say the 100 meter so path length is 100 meter distance what is the displacement so initial point is this final point is this dono ke beech ka straight line difference kitna hai bachcho 100 meter hai so in this case your path length and displacement both are same so i will make a small note here when object moves only in one direction when object moves only in one direction for this case path length is equal to displacement done everyone yes good yes. okay let's go to the next topic now after this your next topic comes as if the object is moving then the position is changing right obvious if the object is moving position is changing but at what rate the position is changing at what rate the position is changing if someone is traveling on bicycle and other is traveling in car okay who will travel fast obviously car will travel fast compared to the bicycle right so we will introduce two terms here that is a rate of motion rate of motion okay we will introduce the first term velocity and we will compare that velocity with speed we will write it as a comparison whenever you do the quick revision of the chapter you have to learn the things as a difference between the quantities right so what is the velocity velocity is displacement of the object per unit time what is the velocity velocity is the displacement of the object per unit time in unit time what displacement the object cover is called as what it is called as velocity on the other hand what is speed speed li speed is path length what is speed speed is path length per unit time speed kya hota hai speed is path length per unit time while the velocity is displacement per unit time i have just discussed what is the difference between the path length and displacement right now we knows that displacement is a vector quantity displacement as a direction the velocity is also vector quantity okay while the path length is a scalar quantity it has no direction so the speed is also scalar quantity speed is also what kind of quantity speed is also scalar quantity right okay third point very important the unit is meter per second or kilometer per hour here also the unit is meter per second or kilometer per hour how can you convert kilometer per hour to meter per second let's take a simple example of this if you are given as 360 kilometer per hour is equal to how many meter per second we will do very simple thing whenever kilometer per hour is given multiply with 5 by 18 multiply with what 5 by 18 so this is going to become 360 into 5 by 18 meter per second what we will do kilometer per hour is what 5 by 18 meter per second kilometer per hour is 5 by 18 meter per second now let's simplify this 18 to 2 that is 20 into 5 it is 100 meter per second 
360 kilometer per hour is how much? 100 meter per second. Is it clear? So whenever speed is given in kilometer per hour, multiply with 5 by 18, it will be converted to meter per second. Right? Okay, one more thing that you need to remember. The the speedometer of the vehicle, vehicle measure speedometer hota hai na, that always measure the speed, not velocity, right? It is measured by speedometer. It is measured by speedometer. And there is one more device in your vehicle that is called as odometer. Odometer will measure the total distance travelled by the object in a journey. Right? What total distance you cover is measured by what? Odometer number as a rehte hai aage. Right? So this will make it here also odometer. It measures the total distance travelled by vehicle. Okay, vehicle kitna total distance travel karega that is measured by odometer while the speed of the vehicle is measured by what quantity? Speedometer. Speed con measure karega bache? Speedometer will measure the speed. Is it clear? Is it clear? Right. Now let's see the next term. Next term kya kata hai? Dekho pata fad. Next term is uniform motion. Now what is the meaning of uniform motion? Uniform motion means if the object cover equal distance in equal interval of time that means consider in the first 5 minute object travel 50 meter in next 5 minute also object travel 50 meter in next 5 minute also object travel 50 meter next 5 minute also object travel 50 meter so here the object is traveling equal distance in equal interval of time so that motion is called as what uniform motion what is it called it is called as uniform motion is it clear okay so i will write here uniform motion is what that is if object travel equal distance in equal interval of time It is said to have uniform motion and for uniform motion velocity will not change with time. As the object travels same distance with same interval of time, the velocity of object will remain constant. So we can write here velocity remain unchanged. Velocity of the object remain unchanged for the uniform motion. Okay, velocity remain unchanged during the uniform motion. One more thing, if you want to plot the graph of displacement versus time, let's say it is your x, x is what? Displacement and t is what? Time. Okay, so if it is a uniform motion, for uniform motion, displacement versus time graph is going to be straight line. For uniform motion, displacement versus time graph is going to be straight line. Pattern koi bhi ho sakta hai, but the graph will be straight line. For uniform motion, position versus time graph kaisa hota hai, bachcha it is straight line. Right? Is it clear? Shall you copy it everyone? Now, so, what we have learned till now, we have learned about the distance, displacement, speed and velocity. Now, what if the velocity is also changing? Okay, consider that you have a ambassador car and on the other hand you have a Ferrari. Okay, so in which the speed will increase very rapidly, you will obviously say Ferrari. In the Ferrari, the speed will increase very rapidly means its engine is very powerful means it is able to provide a very huge force means it is able to provide a very huge acceleration so now we will introduce the term acceleration acceleration okay so whenever the velocity of the object is changing with time the acceleration will be come into the picture and the acceleration means rate of change of velocity what is acceleration rate of change of velocity rate of change of velocity of the object is called as what acceleration what is it called acceleration it called right so the formula of acceleration is change of velocity change of velocity divided by time 
तो एक्सोलेशन इज वॉट चेंज ऑफ वेलॉसिटी डिवाइड बाई टाइम एज द वेलॉसिटी इज वैक्टर क्वांटिटी एक्सोलेशन इज ऑल्सो वैक्टर क्वांटिटी इज ऑल्सो एज अ डायरेक्शन ओके फाइन एंड द यूनिट ऑफ द एक्सोलेशन इज मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वायर और किलोमीटर पर आवर स्क्वायर The unit of acceleration is what meter per second square or kilometer per hour square. So when the velocity of the object changes, okay, अगर आप गाड़ी चालू करो बच्चों और अगर आपने ऐसा accelerate किया गाड़ी को तो आपको पता है speed बढ़ता जाएगा. So in that case we can say the object is under acceleration. If we apply the brakes, what will happen? The speed will reduce, 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 reduce. Again the velocity or speed is changing, so again the motion is accelerated. But क्योंकि velocity कम हो रहा है ना तो उसका acceleration कैसा आएगा negative आएगा. कैसा आएगा उसका acceleration negative आएगा because object का speed क्या हो रहा है reduce हो रहा है and that is why the acceleration is going to be negative. Okay, so we will write here for acceleration जो speed है वो positive आएगा and for deceleration of brakes और ब्रेकिंग द एसोलेशन इज गोइंग टू बी नेगेटिव ओके फाइन कॉपी इट क्विकली नाउ यू विल डू वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थियरी दैट इज फॉर्मूला ऑफ यूनिफॉर्मली एसोलेटेड मोशन फॉर्मूलाज ऑफ यूनिफॉर्मली एसोलेटेड मोशन ओके, सो यूनिफॉर्म एक्सेलरेशन एक्सेलरेशन मीन स्पीड इज चेंजिंग यूनिफॉर्म एक्सेलरेशन मीन द स्पीड इज चेंजिंग यूनिफॉर्मली मीन्स दर इज इक्वल चेंज इन स्पीड विथ इक्वल इंटरवल ऑफ टाइम ओके अगर मान लो पहले एक सेकंड में पांच मीटर पर सेकंड जितना चेंज हुआ तो नेक्स्ट एक सेकंड में भी पांच मीटर पर सेकंड ही चेंज होगा नेक्स्ट एक एक, एक सेकंड के अंदर भी पांच मीटर पर सेकंड ही चेंज होगा राइट सो यू कैन से द स्पीड ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट और वेलोसिटी ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट यू कैन राइट स्पीड और वेलोसिटी ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट चेंज यूनिफॉर्मली विथ टाइम चेंज यूनिफॉर्मली विथ टाइम ओके एंड दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर योर एग्जाम राइट एंड हैव यू राइट We will draw the graph of velocity versus time. Which graph we will plot? We will plot the velocity versus graph, the velocity versus time. Consider the initial velocity of the object is u. ये velocity का axis है उसके ऊपर initial point कौन सा है u है. What is the u? U is your initial velocity. U क्या है initial velocity है. Consider कर लो object का acceleration a है. मतलब उसकी वेलोसिटी बढ़ने वाली है और यूनिफॉर्मली बढ़ रही है मतलब वेलोसिटी का ग्राफ ऐसा सीधा सीधा ऊपर जाएगा और फाइनल वेलोसिटी कितना हुआ बच्चों वी हो गया तो वी क्या है उसका वी इज योर फाइनल वेलोसिटी क्या है ये वी है आपका फाइनल वेलोसिटी ओके फाइन चलिए बच्चों तो कितना टाइम लगा उसको मोशन करने में सपोज टी जितना टाइम लगा तो टी इज द टाइम फॉर विच द ऑब्जेक्ट वॉज इन मोशन टाइम फॉर मोशन ओके द टी टाइम के अंदर T टाइम में ऑब्जेक्ट का वेलोसिटी जो है वो U में से कितना हो गया V हो गया T टाइम में ऑब्जेक्ट का वेलोसिटी कितना हो गया U में से V हो गया है इन द टाइम टी ओके नाउ लेट सी वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू डू हियर यू विल डिराइव द फर्स्ट फॉर्मूला एंड दैट फर्स्ट फॉर्मूला इज योर वेलोसिटी एंड टाइम रिलेशन सो वी विल राइट द एसोलेशन इज वॉट वेरी फर्स्ट फॉर्मूला वी आर मैंशन दैट एसोलेशन इज चेंज ऑफ वेलॉसिटी बाई टाइम Acceleration is what change of velocity by time. Okay, so what is the change of velocity? So your final velocity is v. Initial velocity is u. So change of velocity is obviously v minus u. Change of velocity is what v minus u. In what time the velocity is changing? It is taking time t. So time is divided by t. So you will write at is equal to v minus u. So your v is going to be u plus at. That's the first formula. V equal to what? U plus at. V equal to what? U plus at. This is your first formula. Now let's derive the second formula. Okay, second formula. If you want to find the distance covered by object, then the distance covered by object is given by area under the velocity versus time graph. So velocity versus time graph, which is, its under the area, is what distance covered by object. 
राइट तो आई विल राइट इ डिस्टेंस इज इक्वल टू एरिया अंडर वेलोसिटी वर्सेस टाइम ग्राफ वट इज इट एरिया अंडर द वेलोसिटी वर्सेस टाइम ग्राफ ओके नाउ लेट्स से वेलोसिटी वर्सेस टाइम ग्राफ जो है उसका एरिया कितना है सो आई विल डिवाइड दिस एंटायर एरिया इन टू पार्ट दैट इज गोइंग टू बी द एरिया ऑफ द ट्राइंगल प्लस एरिया ऑफ द रेक्टेंगल We can divide it in two parts: area of triangle plus area of this rectangle. Okay, so for the triangle, what is this value? So this total value is v. This value is v. This value is u. इतना value क्या है बच्चों आपका u है? ये पूरा value क्या है आपका v है? तो ये value कितना होगा? v minus u होगा obviously. क्योंकि पूरा v है, इतना u है. Then what is this value? It is obviously going to be v minus u. Okay, so this value is v minus u. Fine. What is this base? This is your time t. So obviously this is also time t. Okay. So area of the triangle. You should be aware about area of the triangle is what? That is the distance covered by the object. That I will write as area of triangle plus area of rectangle. Distance is what? Triangle plus rectangle. Area of triangle half into base into height. What is the base of triangle? Time t. What is the height of triangle? Height of triangle is this one. That is v minus u. Plus area of rectangle. So for rectangle, the area is length into width. Length of the rectangle is t, and width of the rectangle is u. Width of the rectangle is u, and length of the rectangle is t. So it is going to be t into u. Okay. Now let's open the bracket and see what we will get here. We will get it as v t by 2 minus u t by 2 plus u t. If you open the bracket, you will get it like this. Okay. Now this u t minus u t by 2. Ut minus ut by 2 is going to become vt by 2 is as it is, and this is going to become plus ut by 2. Okay, ये पूरा ut है, पूरे ut में से आधा ut वाला part उड़ा दो। पूरे में से अगर आधा ut उड़ेगा, तो आधा ut बचेगा। Right, so what you are going to get here, you will get this as v plus u common आ जाएगा, and this is t by 2. V plus u common आएगा, और v plus u रहेगा, और t and t by 2 common आ गया। Now what is this v? I will put this v equal to U plus 80. What I put? I put this v equal to u plus 80 here, and then let's see what will we get. V equal to u plus 80. एक और u already है यहाँ पे. Into t by 2. आपको जैसे ही bracket open करना है, बच्चा आप open करोगे आपको मिलेगा कि ये distance d जो है ना, it is equal to u t plus half a t square. The distance is what? U t plus half a t square. What is the distance? The distance is u t plus half a t square. This is what you can write. Okay, so this is your second formula. Now let's derive the third formula here. So for third formula, again I will write distance is equal to area, area under the VT graph as we have already mentioned there. But now we will find the area by other method. What is what is the other method? So we will consider entire trapezium. We will consider entire trapezium while this side of the trapezium is u, this entire side of trapezium is v, and the width of the trapezium is t. So area of the trapezium is given by formula. Area of trapezium is given by the formula, and that formula is जो parallel side है उसका आपको average लेना है that is v plus u by two. Average of the parallel side, एक parallel side u है, दूसरा v है, तो average of these two मतलब v plus u by two into distance between the parallel side जो t है. ट्रपेजियम का एरिया कितना होगा बच्चों इन दोनों का एवरेज होगा इन टू टाइम टी नाउ वॉट विल वी डू वी विल राइट इट एज बी प्लस यू बाई टी और यहां से आपको टाइम कितना मिलेगा देखो यहां से बच्चों आपको यहां से आपको टाइम मिल जाएगा v माइनस यू डिवाइड बाई ए है ना टाइम ऊपर आ गया ए नीचे गया तो यू विल राइट दिस टाइम इज इक्वल टू वी माइनस यू बाई ए एंड आई विल पुट दिस टाइम हेयर So instead of time, I will write v minus u by a. What I will write? Time is equal to I will write v minus u by a. Okay. And finally, what will we do? V plus u, v minus u is v square minus u square. Simple formula. Divide by twice a. That is your distance d. Okay. So your third formula is going to be two a को ऊपर ले लो. And your third formula I will write it here. Two a आपका कहाँ गया बच्चों? ऊपर जाएगा तो ये हो गया two a d. Is equal to v square minus u square. The third formula is what? 
2ad is equal to v square minus u square and this is the relation between the distance and velocity this is the relation between the distance and time this is distance time relation this is distance velocity relation and it is velocity time relation these are your three formula first v equal to u plus at second d equal to ut plus half at square third 2ad is equal to v square minus u square 2ad equal to what v square minus u square okay so this is your formula of uniformly accelerated motion is it clear everyone is it clear everyone how to derive it clear everyone okay and the last theory of your chapter is uniform acceleration uniform circular motion so in the uniform circular motion when the object is moving uniformly the magnitude of velocity will not change magnitude of velocity jo hum speed kehte hain does not change right but the direction of the velocity change every point direction of velocity changes at every point and as the direction of the velocity changes at every point we can say the object is in acceleration suppose the object is moving in a circle in this direction clockwise when the object is here the velocity is in the direction of tangent when the object is here velocity is in the direction of tangent when the object is here velocity is in the direction of tangent so you can see at every point the direction of the velocity is changing as the direction of the velocity is changing the motion is accelerated so we can say the motion in circle is accelerated motion motion in circle is accelerated motion right this is what we can say okay and what is the velocity suppose ye circle mein ghoom raha hai uska radius r hai to ye velocity kitna hoga ya speed kitna hoga to speed is equal to distance circle ka matlab kya hota hai bachcho distance equal to 2 pi r that is equal to circumference divide by kya karenge time karenge t एक चक्कर काटने में जो टाइम लगता है वो राइट तो वेलोसिटी इज इक्वल टू टू पाई आर बाई टी सो दिस इज योर क्विक रिविजन ऑफ द चैप्टर मोशन जो आपको एग्जाम के वक्त बच्चों बहुत ज्यादा काम में आने वाला है ओके okay?